Hello, I am Matthias and welcome to a new tutorial. We still have a lot of new stuff to cover and here we go again. Today we have a look at another great edition people were asking for a long time. Real-time fades on audio clips. Finally they did it. Per clip real-time fades with gain preview, a new gain handle and crossfades. All with gain preview. By default, all fades have an S curve shape, which can be changed to a single curve. Right click the fades to bring up this menu. And even such automatic crossfades can be edited manually. If you have trimmed before the audio clip you created the crossfade with, you can resize it and therefore adjust the fades by putting the mouse cursor to the lower part until you get this double arrow and left click drag. Or you can put the longer clip on top and resize it afterwards. Automatic fades disappear when you separate the clips again, but not so when you have edited them manually afterwards. In this case, they switch to manual mode, which you can revert by unchecking this option in the right click menu. The gain handles let you increase the volume up to plus 36 dBs and lower it up to minus 96 dBs. After this value, it goes to minus infinity. While I personally find the fade gain preview very helpful, I do not like 100% the preview for the general clip volume. Most of the time, you will find yourself more lowering the volume than anything else. And this just results in making the waveform harder and harder visible if the track is set to a normal height. But luckily they listened and gave us an option to turn this preview off. Very nice is that you still get an indicator that the clip gain was changed as long as the track height is set at least to 100%. As you might have already seen, there is an option for the fade preview as well, if you don't like this being shown. We have options of these new editions in many places. The clip menu shows us some options. The playlist edit menu contains some. And the playlist view menu. Last but not least, there are two new buttons in the playlist view selector. I might be wrong, but it's possible that they are disabled by default. If you do not see any fade handles when you hover over an audio clip, then please enable this option here. I personally don't see any reason to turn this off ever again. So set and forget. The second new button checks that your fade handles are set to zero crossings. I have no idea how much sense this makes, but anyway, there it is. Very nice is too that you can right click the first button and have a menu showing the same options of the playlist menu for easier access. There is an option to let your fade snap to the grid. If you prefer this behavior, you can turn it on permanently here. If not, you can just hold Alt and drag the fade handle when you need it. I said before that I personally do not like the clip gain preview and decreasing the visibility when lowering the volume. Nonetheless, there is a good reason for such a behavior and why many have requested it. Very often, for example with vocals, you will have to deal with recordings which are a bit too dynamic, like in this example here. If you want to flatten these dynamics with just compression, you will have to let the compressor work quite heavily. And there is a good chance that you can hear too much compression action, like for example pumping or fast volume changes. Many people use volume rider plugins to defeat this, or even try to write the fader manually, or having to do a lot of automation. Here the new clip gain preview is a god's end. Let me show you quickly how you can make use of this new feature. First, I set the declicking to something appropriate. For percussive material, I would go more for transient bleeding. For melodic material or vocals, at least generic or smooth, or even sometimes crossfade. 
I try here first with generic. Set snapping to none, as we want to make precise cuts, which not necessarily fall on the grid. Just make cuts around a problematic region like here, where the word is much quieter than the surrounding ones. And just visually align the waveform with our new clip gain handle. Because this works on a per clip base, there is no need for making any clip unique and we are avoiding much clutter. Of course, there are bits which are too loud. Isn't that great? Aligning the gain visually is super easy, intuitive and give great results. Just by looking at this waveform, I think everybody can tell that it will be much easier for a compressor to now even out just the tiny differences than the huge jumps we had before. Because it works so intuitive, it's very easy to create your own workflow and a good feeling how much you can raise or lower the volume to let it still sound natural and not overdo your edits. A last hint to this? The option to show the clip game preview or not is a general option for all audio clips in your project, on or off. So if you have to make use out of it, like in the last example, you have to leave it on to see the effect. But if you're like me and don't like the waveform more and more disappearing when turning down the volume, you can still use the volume knob in the generator window like before. This will still adjust the volume for the whole audio file, but it's not reflected in the waveform. And here you have it. Real-time fades, automatic or manual crossfades, and clip gain handles for the upcoming version 21. And I find the implementation great. They really did a great job. And I think this will make life for many of you so much easier. Stay tuned for the next features. Have a great time until then. And thank you for watching.